Hello, my friends. I'm in the back end of one of my gardens and I'm looking at all this mullen. Rosie's helping me out. Actually, she's near my roses. So this is Greek mullen. Greek mullen is different than your regular common mullen. Um, medicinally, they're interchangeable. The reason I like Greek mullen is because it has multiple stalks where a regular mullen will just have one stalk coming up from the center. So you can see my shadow, one stalk coming out from the center, the flowers on that stalk. Greek mullen will have multiple stalks coming up. Um, if you go through my Instagram or my Jensen's Garden Facebook, I'm sure a picture of it has come up many times. But how do I know this is the Greek one versus the common melon? So I know this one is the Greek one. So I'm gonna go out of the shade for you. Here you go. Because the tips tend to be a little bit more pointier. The green tends to be a little bit more vibrant um, on the outside and less fuzzy. It is fuzzy, but it's a little bit more shine than the common mullen. So a little bit more shine. It tends to be sometimes a little narrower, the leaves. If you see this inside leaf here, it's a little bit more gray. That's more like the common mullen, which I will do another video on that one. Here's the underbelly. So a little bit more vibrant. It's still not a bright green, but it's more vibrant than the common mullen. I also know where it pops up <laughs> and that's also great. So the Greek mullen is not usually what you're going to see on the side of the roads. That's usually this, the common mullen. The Greek mullen is that someone has deliberately planted it and then they're, um, it does spread from there. But I know this in my garden is the the Greek mullen. Just from again, this little cone in it. It also feels more sturdier. I find it to be thinner than the common mullen leaves. And sturdier if that's the botanical. <laughs> how it's coming up. Alright. I'm going to go include the common mullen. I haven't already. Which one's going to come first in this video? Who knows? Make sure you subscribe to find out more. Hello, my friends. Me and Rosie are over here by a common mullen. And though it says common, I had to search a little bit to find it today on my land because I've been growing Greek mullen for quite a few years now. And I, not that one takes over and doesn't let the other one grow. Um, but common mullen is something I did not plant here. Um, it came, came and be asking for it to, to come and to come. And finally I'm like, oh, there it is. Um, it does not as prolific as my Greek mullen. As Greek mullen has more stalks, common mullen, mullen has one stalk. So each of those stalks produces oh, hundreds of flowers and those flowers then have seeds and those seeds are what reproduce. So if we're looking at something that has one stalk so full of seeds and flowers versus something that has several stalks versus of seeds and flowers, which one's going to be more? The Greek mullen. Thank you, Rosie. Walking right over the mullen. Don't do anything bad to the mullen. So I know this is common. It's more fuzzy. It's thicker than and it's just, it seems fluffier and I want to pet it. And it's more rounder than the edges of my Greek mullen. And to show you all that, I brought a Greek mullen over a leaf. So side by side, see it's a little bit more pointier. Um, this one was one of the younger leaves and the middle leaf. So it is similar in color. Though if I push it out, put it, yeah, if I do the upside downs on the back side, let me pull this back side. You're going to see it slightly more green than the common mullen. So Greek mullen, common mullen. And you see it's rounded on the edges. We're pointier on the edge here. Thinner. 
and this one is thicker and softer. I mean, this is soft too, but this is definitely softer. And I know people said, oh, back in the old days, that was toilet paper. Yeah, I don't know if that's a myth or not. It's not going on my butt. So that is, that's the common mullen. And again, the Greek mullen. So same medicinal properties. I just prefer the Greek because it's prettier. <laughs> um, though I always feel blessed when the common comes to me because again, it's not something I planted. So it's just something that it comes to you. All right. Well, please subscribe. So eventually I have enough subscribers that the videos that the ads that you see, I actually get paid for it. That would be huge. Um, every little thing helps. <laughs> All right. Do it for the plant so I can buy more seeds and make more videos for you all. All right. Play Flores Sings. See you in my other videos. Bye.